Dobre Katowice! Welcome to the ESL One Katowice Finals! Freiburg, 1v4. This is a very important round for NIP. They had such a good start just now. There's 55 seconds for Freiburg to try and do a 1v4. He's turned into 1v3 initially. So it might be a bit of a start for him, but he's got no grenades left, and he's got a Galil instead of a more preferable weapon, really. And Fnatic have armor. They've got a great crossfire setup. There's almost no way out of this for Freiburg, but he's going to have to try Giving up at this point is definitely not an option. Walks in, what a headshot, takes one, keeps free, that's a double. Now he's got the clock out, no, get up, oh, the flusher. He can finish it with the... Unbelievable stuff, Freiburg picks off Pro next, JW and his famous tries to put pay to it, but it's flusher who'll have to come in and end the round with a hat trick. Very, very yeah, uncommon to see something like that. That's a big opening for us. Has one of the most impressive entry frag ratios in the tournament so far. It's a second kill as Pronax goes. Pronax is going to go down and it's up to Flusher, Olofmeister and Frims. But they're not at the bomb site. They're down the middle again. Now, unlike the B bomb site on this map, A is a little bit easier to retake. Fnatic have a Molotov, but they're not even going to go for it. They are actually going to save it. And NIP, are they even going to let him escape? Get right goes down and Flusher's out of time as well. That's a, such a big victory for NIP. It really is. That's a massive victory for their economy, a massive victory for the half right there for them. Getting that fourth round on the board at 8-4. But he can't wait too much longer and he will go down. Flusher, he started the round or he started this half, he ends it with a triple kill as well. Very solid performance from him. Sniping away, he's got 30 bullets left and trying to stop them. There's the one kill on Get Right. Bomb still being defused, he's trying and there it is, NIP. They get the wires cut, they win the round. So the gap is really close, Stuart. It was just a massive lead for Fnatic, and now it's shrinking. Yeah, and this is what I was worried about for Fnatic. Now they're going to have to, they're going to have to keep up that pace. I think they need to keep using long A and B like they've been using it. They need to use it fast because if they work in the middle, I honestly think they're going to get picked apart by the two offs on NIP side. It's an actual Tech 9 train, almost the most vile thing I can imagine. Alu up in the A bomb site might get overwhelmed here. Olofmeister picks up the first kill, a second kill. Flusher comes in. Alu's down. Is Forest and Exist left? And this is working beautifully for Fnatic. It's Exist to take down Crims. They're trying to fight their way back, and Forest is out in the open. Bomb is down, but he's getting outgunned here. Olofmeister, a third kill in the round. What a champion. Now down to Exist in a 1v3. And NIP, they might lose this round. Fnatic, they had the time out and it seems to have paid out really well. The Swedish captain here, or the NIP captain, he's fighting for it, jumping and shooting, looking for the opening, but he's being flanked in the smoke. Seven bullets, he goes down. Pronax, it's in-game leader versus in-game leader at the end. And Fnatic take a 14th round. And this could be Fnatic running away with it. Alu alone, and there it is, Fnatic. They claim dust two. It is Fnatic who win map one. Look at the bomb plant, it's out in the open. They should be able to stop this from happening. It's still being defused and Flusher is here on it. Are they going to try and stop him? They see him, but there it is. NIP going to end up picking it up. And Forrest, he needs this kill. Will pick up all of Meister. Can they spot Flusher up on the high ground by the railing here? Takes down Forrest now. It is on Alu. So 1v2, new Swedish player. He goes down and Flusher, quad kill in the round. What an amazing play here. 
the target first of all. Flasher has the frag under Get Right, and one half has been taken out. It's Get Right and Freiburg down. Peronex will in the end go out to Forest. But Hofmeister has finished off the job for Fnatic with those two frags. And will be tied back up at 5-5, and these two teams are somewhat inseparable. Picks up an opening on Flusher as well, so it's a 3v3. No bomb plan yet as Freiburg goes for the kill. We'll take all of Meister. Get right with a kill on Crimsitz. Pronex, this is the last round of the half, and Pronex goes down. Freiburg has had not the best half of his life here, but this last round was incredible. Here we go, Alu and Exis to make sure that all that hard work in the first half can continue for NAP. Pronex looking to stop them in their tracks. Alu, headshot, off Meister down. Pronex out for the count. It's Flusher or Boss, and Alu gets it, and the man is coming alive in these finals. And JW's also gone down, so it's a... Wow, Olof Meister takes down Alu. The confidence on this player, almost unmatched. Gonna get a kill on Forrest as well. He's picking up, picking up a triple kill currently, and it's in a 1v2. He's got 40 seconds, so making his way out of this ground alive is going to be more than just a little bit difficult. And NIP is actually playing this really well. They're staying almost as far away from him as they can right now without showing themselves running away. Walking back around, I think he got spotted then. And that's a big problem. He's not sure where they're coming from. Flash in once he runs into it and get right, we'll pick it up. What a nice try from Olof Meister. That, was, uh, that looked for a moment like he could have done it. And Crimson Olof Meister. It's going to be miraculous if they can bring in out the one thing is that they don't know all of Meister's up there. Now they do. Freiburg sees it. Goes for the kill. Going to pick it up as well. And there it is. And NIP 16-10. They take a second map and we are going to a third. What a map. They're going really quick here, but they're getting shot down. Great start from JW. Flusher as well. They finally bring down one player, but Pronex is there. That's a perfect start from Fnatic. Very well played on, on, on JW. Can he do the damage here? The bomb is ticking away. They've got to be careful, because Olofmeister is very nearly dead. And oh, Alu, what a shot. He gets the triple kill, and now it's all on Olofmeister. Charging in, picks up one. And now, one grenade out. Olof fakes it here, and Alu gets the kill, and it's a quad in the follow-up round. NIP steal it back. You told us earlier, Sean, that, that JW is one of those really special players that will play a little bit crazily. How often will you see someone try and flank a team with an AWP? Let's say he actually got behind them and got a kill. He'd have to, you know, take a second to get the next one. It's not a weapon you can spray down three people with. Very classic JW. Yeah, he's one of the only players in the world that would make that push down middle with an AWP like that. Just even if there's anyone anywhere, like alt mid, halls, boiler area, he would get caught out in a great position for him. Get it right. He goes down and now it's on Alu, trapped in the corner, caged in here with just an AWP. This is definitely Fnatic Drown to take. It's going to be a miracle if he can make it out. He's got nine health. If they just want to look at him, he's going to go down and Crims jumping and picking up a kill there. Good retake from Fnatic. He has to try and clutch it. If he could win this round, it almost doesn't matter that he hasn't done anything for the rest of the first half. He could, he could be excused on that account. But Pronax's position is so good. Allows for us to get by, walks out cold as ice, and it's going to be 11 to 4. And it's JW who goes down. Now the push continues. Pronax has got one kill. They're looking for more. Get right will go down. Oh, Fnatic, they're overwhelming in IP. And that will be it. Flusher with a double kill. Well executed round from Fnatic. And it's Alu hiding in the ninja corner. He doesn't have anyone helping him from Lil Pit just yet, but he could in a second. This combination, the crossfire is so powerful. Alu with the one, gets the double, goes for the triple, and there it is. Alu cleaning up. And it's going to be 45 seconds left. I think Fnatic are just on the brink of it. And there it is, a double peek into middle. Flusher will get the opening. He assists, lets one by, goes for the kill, gets a double. One more kill, there's a triple kill. And Pronax goes down, it's all up to Olof Meister. And Exist wants the quad get right, will take it away. Alu played it last time, this time it was Exist. Sean Gears, how does that work out? Alu continuing to offer help, but he was out of the game when Freiburg came in. And in the end, we'll have to retreat in that. Retake just wasn't as synchronized as NIP would have liked. Still Franks on the board, but that was a great round from Fnatic, and it will take them to seven match point. Here comes the play. 
Fnatic make their move as they charge in towards the B-bomb site. There are three ninjas waiting for them. The first frag is from Forrest. JW out for the count. Freiburg follows up with number two, but they've lost Forrest in that site. Freiburg will go in, get the next frag, and Mr. B-bomb site is downed by Pronax. Get right, making his way over there. And there are just three seconds left on this clock. And the ninjas have done enough to hold out and pick them off. The Finnish player has gone and now it's a 2v2 retake for an IP to hold on to this, to not lose the Grand Finals. Pronax and Crims, they just need to two kills here and they will win it for the second time. Pronax with one, Freiburg, oh my god, he's freezed and he gets both kills and the Grand Final continues, 15 to 13. 2v3. Fnatic, they're getting these bomb plants in. They just need one more round and they'll be able to do it. Olof Meister again hiding in the same spot up by Graveyard and Crims. Well, he's in the side. Oh, there it is. Now it's on. Exist 1v2 here. Fnatic, they could be the second or the first team to win a second championship here in Global Offensive. And Olof Meister's playing it so safely. They know that they have it. Exist gets one and he's back on it. He's got the kit. He's holding it down. I'm not sure there's enough time. Fnatic, they do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your ESL1 Cavalier Champion, Dr. Nelson!